Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay now. Um, and of course whatnot, but not as much recently. Um, but all of my links will be in the description if you want to check out any of my closets or storefronts. Um, today we have a thread up DIY five pound mystery box. This one I bought a while ago. This one is from Swanee, Georgia. Yay, we know, you guys know, I love my Swanee, Georgia boxes. Um, I also do have a couple announcements. So this Saturday, this Sunday, um, so this video is going to go up on the 2nd. I'm filming it on the 1st. Um, so I'm filming it on the Friday before you guys are going to see it. Um, happy weekend. This Sunday, so September 3rd. Third, I will be doing my very first jewelry auction on this channel. I should already have it um, pinned or like scheduled in my um, like on my YouTube page. Um, I will have a link in my description and in that video and in the auction, and that is the buyer registration. Um, so if you would like to come hang out and bid on a few things, or even just to come and hang out um please register to be a buyer so if you wouldn't mind doing that it's um a jot form and all you have to do is put in your name your youtube username your email address and your address i believe so awesome i hope i can see you there on sunday and again that is at 12 eastern so um sunday 12 eastern and it'll be my very first jewelry auction and i'm really excited about it also, another announcement is I will be doing a collab next Saturday. I will be doing a collab with Lindsay Clark over at Lindsay Clark. We are both got our hands on a Thread Up DIY five pound box. Um, it's actually coming from Arizona and we will be collabing on that and we'll do like a battle of the box. Who got a better box? All right. I think that's all of my little info that I need to share. This box was ordered on April. April 10th to be exact. All right. And we are going to open it. Whoa. Okay, this is what I see in Alex and Ani. Right, let's see. This is what we have. Um, it's definitely an unusual box. I see some different unusual looking things i see some maybe sodalite or lapis so that's right there um i see a big i think it's a big watch um i see another watch i see some natural stones right here that looks really fun um hmm, yeah this looks interesting Ooh, i think i see turquoise i think that's turquoise i can't really tell but all right, I'm going to put, um, turn you guys off for just a second. I'm going to take a couple pictures, um, for my thumbnail picture and I will be right back. All right, we are back. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hopefully what I took was enough. If not, we will just take a new thumbnail picture. <laughs> That's probably like my least favorite thing to do when I make YouTube videos is have to make a thumbnail picture afterwards. Because I'm usually always stressing to do it, like, the day before, the night before, um, to get it done before my video goes up the next day. So, alright, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put it right here. This looks like Seasonal Whispers. I hope it is, because Seasonal, Seasonal Whispers is expensive. Um, and we're just going to pull out a few things. I see a lot of fun things, so I'm excited. Oh, we just lost a bead. Um, this is a DIY box, so, you know, we will get some craft. That's really pretty. Um, we will get some craft, but hopefully we can be able to get our hands on some good pieces like sterling, gold, of course, and some name brands. I think that is enough. Hold that right there. Okay, so the, ooh, we have a little chain. Little chains are always good. All right, let's see. We have a silver tone chain. It's really long. It has a really cute little elephant. I'm going 
to try to focus you. There we go. All right. I went ahead and adjusted you guys a little bit. So you're a little bit lower. Maybe I'll focus easier now. Um, so super cute little silver tone elephant with rhinestones. So adorable. Okay, next we had this. This is uh, Charming Charlie. So we do have a Charming Charlie navy blue multi-layer necklace. The only thing problem with zooming out or zooming in so close is you guys won't be able to see the big picture. So maybe I should lower you guys back down. But it's like a navy blue multi-strand beaded necklace. I don't know if I will would sell that, but we'll see. Okay, next is this. This is definitely faux. So it's a little faux turquoise stretch bracelet, but it's pretty. Okay, next we have a little choker necklace. Nothing. All right. Ooh, this looks like silver. Let's pull that out. It is marked Italy 925. So we have a really dainty, very, very dainty silver um, chain. Very dainty. And then it has this little pendant of a weight. I forgot what it's called. Um, so 925 silver. And the pendant itself, I do not see a mark. But I would assume silver. It's on a silver chain. But of course, I will test that to the side. All right. Another charming Charlie necklace. I hope this isn't from that same. I wonder if it's from that same restock. I got the other one where I literally got like all charming Charlie. So that's nothing. Um, all right. Charming Charlie just does not, you know, sell for me. Um, to me, it's just not even worth listing just because I'm only trying to list things I can at least sell for $15 just because I have too much to list. All right, so that's a little, I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. I think it's a watch band. So we have a little antique gold tone Buddha, Alex and Ani. We have an antique gold tone um, niece, Alex and Ani. We have a missing rhinestone Mother Mary. That's correct. Right there. All right. This is really pretty. I like the stretch. I again check all your stretch bracelets for marks, guys. To me, it kind of actually looks like a charming Charlie piece. Kind of looks like a J. Crew or Stellan Dot too, but let's, I'll have to look into that one. Okay, we have a. This is Mart. B G J. CN. I don't know that maker's mark, but is a, I think it's supposed to be gold tone, but it's silver tone. I'm not sure, but it's like a little skeleton key necklace. I'll have to look into that. We have an ear crawler. It's really pretty. We have a bangle bracelet. Craft. I actually craft with the bangle bracelets, so I'm not too mad about getting them. This um, is missing the um, magnet or it's in there but it's just not glued in there there we go okay now it works um i just have to glue that back in but i don't know if i would list this kind of looks like an alex and ani but i don't see maker's marks they're like orange facet i think glass beads all right we have a bangle bracelet very boho it actually has like a little bit of an animal print Going through it it's pretty cool all right so far not the greatest box um we have like the stretch bracelet and it has all of these interesting it's a chico's it's a very interesting i think it's missing one of its strands i feel like there should be three strands in here not just two so it's interesting. I'm going to have to look into that. If anything, if it is missing a strain, I might be able to just take the style on core. And there we have the match the ear crawler. This is an unmarked has where it's craft. Um, 
we have all of these little beads that look vintage. So we're going to put all those in craft. Um, this is a nice little bracelet. Oh, it's missing one rhinestone, though. It's a shame, because that one's a nice one. All glass and ceramic beads. All right. This is a little gold tone chain. Um, I'm thinking about what work. I'm going to see how this auction goes. The one um, this Saturday or this Sunday at 12 Eastern. Um, I'm going to see how this auction goes. This will be my very first. And I'm thinking about doing like themed shows. So I'm thinking about doing one that's like quiet luxury. I know that's been a big topic. Um, big trend right now. Like kind of like expensive the more simple looking um, jewelry without big brands or logos. Um, this is unbranded. So I'm just thinking about doing something like that. Making some like, um, this is Cuffed by Nano. N-A-N-A-O. N-A-N-O. Yeah. Cuffed by Nano. So I'll have to look into that. We have a earring that's really pretty. All right, we have three of these memory wire, or um, I guess not memory wire, but just like flexible wire. Um, I'm hoping we get one that's marked because this looks like a Seasonal Whispers bracelet. And Seasonal Whispers is expensive, guys. It's definitely a bolo. So keep an eye out for Seasonal Whispers. All right, so we'll have to look for that. They usually come in sets. Okay, so we have more beads. Okay, we have this bracelet. That looks like, I was going to say faux turquoise, but it actually looks like bone. Looks like dyed bone. Very interesting. I'll look up into that. We have a cheetah print leather cuff. That's just going to go to style. We have this looks like leather. This is really cool. It's not marked anything, but it definitely looks like leather to me. So I will get into that one. We have a bingo bracelet that looks like red dyed bone. It's an antique brass. It definitely has some tarnish on there, some patina. But it's pretty cool looking. Um, and also, guys, let me know what do you guys want to see in my jewelry auction. I have a lot of costume. I have a few sterling pieces that I might um, throw in. Um... So just like let me know in the like in the comments like what do you guys look for in jewelry auctions? Does it matter if it's um well just what do you guys like to see? Earrings, bracelets, necklaces. This is a little inklet. Um like what do you guys like to see? I'm curious cuz I don't know really know what to show. Kind of panicking. This is a J crew. It's actually in good condition. It's supposed to be antique and it has all of its stones. So here we go. We have a good piece. I like this little J Crew. Like, would this be something you guys like to see in an auction? I'm very curious to see what you guys want to see. I popped into a few auctions here on YouTube, but I don't know. I feel like every auction I popped into, it was something different that people were interested in. Um, this is an unmarked silver tone little feather pendant. Very boho. Um, okay, so this is a gold tone. The class does have some wear. It's a little druzy, like very pretty, kind of dainty, looks expensive. I like that. Maybe I'll put that to the side for my quiet luxury show. Okay, we have like these little clover. Looks like we lost a piece of enamel. It was a, oh, it was a Fornash too. Fornash is actually pretty good. Um, so I'll just glue that enamel back in there. I think that's the only one that was missing enamel. Let's see. Yeah, so I just have to glue that enamel back in, which I will do for Fornash necklace. They'll probably sell for nothing crazy, but it'll sell for at least, probably like at least $15. Um, we have a little silicone watch band. We have a little wood bracelet. I think I'm going to do a couple, I, since I am selling on eBay now, um, I'm thinking about doing some auction lots on some just lots of jewelry. I might try and split them up by theme. So do like a, a whole like little boho or wood jewelry. I know wood jewelry is quite on trend right now. 
This is Cheers. It's a little wine glass or a martini glass. So it's kind of cute and it says Cheers. Um, so I might throw that little wooden bracelet in with the lot that I already have of wood jewelry. We got the matched. This pretty earring. Two matches so far, not that many. Okay, this is Mart Chico's. It's gunmetal black with like a purple and gray rhinestones. Nice. Chico's. This has no stretch. That is craft. We have another bangle bracelet. This one is not Mart. It's an antique gold with a faux pearl cabochons. All right. We have a earring stuck in here. This looks like a rice paper oriental little origami earring. All right, we have another Alex and Ani. I've been getting a lot of Alex and Ani's recently, which is good. I actually have sold a few. Um, this is Alex and Ani with like a paw print and like a city skyline um, from 2012. So nice, it's in good condition. Honestly, I, I've said this before, I like getting Alex and Ani's as long as they're in good condition. This is Mart. It's Mart 925, so let's see. It is not, or at least it may have a rhodium plating that makes it not nine to, um, magnetic, but usually if it's something's magnetic, it's not silver. So it's probably fake, but to me, again, this is kind of like quiet luxury. It kind of looks like the Swarovski. It's like very dainty, silver. I mean, I feel like that would go on like not quite luxury show, but I don't know. I also kind of want to do maybe like an all statement jewelry show. I don't know. Like I said, just let me know what you guys would like to see since you guys are the ones hopefully going to be buying some jewelry. Oh, look, another piece of the enamel. So there must be another one missing. Um, this is really pretty. I like these faceted glass beads, the black tassel. But yeah, I'm very curious to see what you guys want. Um, this is a little silver tone geometric necklace. It's nothing. Ooh, just smacked my head on my tripod. <laughs> okay, this is vintage for sure. And I'm trying to figure out. This doesn't look like it's correct. So something's wrong here. I think this was a little Mod Podge. I'm not sure how that works. Okay. All right, that was, oh, and then we had the matching earring. So, let's pull out some more jewelry. So far, not the best, not my favorite. Ooh, I spoke too soon, maybe. It's pretty cool. Okay. All right, let's, we have a ring. Then there's no maker's marks. Let me just get a measurement in case anyone's interested. Just gold tone. It is about a size seven. Again, it is a gold tone, little wavy ring. Um, there. Okay, we have another one of these bracelets. I usually just take these as style. If they don't take them, give them to my aunt. This one has the interchangeable snap. So if anyone has the snap jewelry, that would work with it. All right. We have a earring. We have another one that's a snap. All right. This one's really cool. I have actually sold something similar. This one does have a lot of tarnish in there. Actually looks quite rusted, not even tarnished. So I'll have to see if maybe some Brasso will clean that. But if not, I don't know. It's just really cool. I love the dyed bone. It's really cool. People like that. Okay. This is very unique. This is a piece of abalone shell with little shell and wood and glass like beads. Definitely probably like a handmade piece. Very nice. And it has a lobster claw. No more, no maker's marks. That's nice. I like that. Okay. This looks like silver to me. I will definitely put this to the side to test. Oh, wait a minute. Did we just find a snap ring? It is marked M, no, 925W, and it says it's chameleon. So it's a chameleon. 
Oh, I think this is so it's a small size. Let's see. It's a size six. So it's a chameleon ring. Um 925, and they these are interchangeable. Um I can't get it open right now, but this um charm pops off and you can interchange it. But um I'll have to see if my friend Janet I think this is too small for her. I think that's too small for her. But I know she likes the snap jewelry, but it's the silver ones. So I'll have to see if she likes that. Okay, this is what I think is 925. So it looks like we have little lapis, turquoise, and coral chips. So I will put this to the side to test. We have two things to test so far. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I had to pause there. Um, okay. This looks like... Could be really, really tarnished silver. Is this an African trading bead? Oh, guys, this, if this so, this is like my very first African trading bead. I know they're really expensive. Um, how do this? I don't really know how this opens and closes though. Okay, I don't see any purity marks on here at all. It looks like sterling though, and that looks like an African trading bead. So I am definitely going to have to put this aside to test. That's exciting. All right, we have an earring. We have the match dot earring. Okay, this is really cool. I like this pendant. It's definitely not silver. It's definitely made to look like silver, though. It's Carol Sue. C-A-R-O-L-S-E-U. Carol Sue. There is a little bit of wear here on the top. You can see a little bit of copper coming through. And that's just from the washers, the rings, just rubbing up against the silver tone. So it's nothing earth shattering there. But that's really cool. I like that necklace. I'll have to look into Carol Sue. Um, okay. Oh, I see a really, really fine silver chain, it looks like. It's stuck inside of that ring. There we go. Earring. Okay, this is new tags. I love new tags. It retailed for $32.50. And it was a Macy's. I don't see what the brand is. But, yeah, it's not marked anything on the inside, but it was a $32.50 bracelet. It's really nice. So look into that. Okay, and then we have this that... It's kind of cool. It's reversible. So we have white and gold, and then we have blue. It's pretty. Well, I have a couple of these necklaces that I got last summer. Okay, ooh. So these look like they could be silver as well. We have these. I'm not sure how they hang. <laughs> um, really nice little earrings, but that's a second like test. Okay. We have these. These kind of look like anthra a little bit. Okay, we have this that is worn, so I'm just going to craft. Okay, we have this look necklace looks really cool. It's a Charming Charlie, of course. Um, it's kind of like Art Deco. Actually, I quite like that. I think that's a pretty cool one. I like that one. Maybe I'll say, oh, there is there is somewhere back here on the chain, unfortunately. All right. Um, this looks like it could be sterling as well. Or maybe just silver plated. I don't see any maker's marks, but we will put it aside to test. A little heart pen. Looks maybe more like silver plated. Okay, we have ooh another one that looks like it could be silver, and this looks like it's turquoise and lapis beads. Really pretty. I like that. That's a test. They must have saved all the good stuff for the bottom. <laughs> oh, this looks like it could be sterling as well. No gold, no James Avery, but that's okay. We're getting a we're getting a couple decent pieces so far. The J Crew, the Sterling. All right, hopefully the Sterling, Sterling. With my last box, all those all those little studs that were marked nine two five were not nine two five. That was sad. This is marked N I C nine two five, and it's a um very dainty silver tone chain, and it says love. Very cute, very dainty. Put that there to the side. This looks like it is all quartz and like labradorite. 
no labradorite, just quartz and maybe some jasper and some shell. Really unique bracelets, all like hand wire wrapped. That is quite unique. Not sure how it's supposed to, and they like sealed the ends with glue so it wouldn't poke you. So that's interesting. This looks quite large. I did buy a bracelet cone. I am not happy with it though. Um, so I'm a seven and a quarter. So I would say this best fits a seven and a half. Oh no, my phone's ringing. Hold on guys. All right, I am back. So we have this unbranded, very like boho dyed shell mother pearl and like plastic shell beads. So we have that one. And then we also had these, which I'm not quite sure what the stones are. I'm not even sure if they are real stones. This one is definitely a real stone. These ones, I do not know. Those ones, maybe they're dyed bone. Maybe that's what they are. Maybe they're dyed bone. This one does look like they are stones. Kind of reminds me of like a dream sickle. Different shades of orange and cream. So I'll have to look into those. All right, last bit. And then we are done. Well, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet. Reminds me of a J. Crew piece. Let's see. I don't see any marks, although it is missing a few rhinestones, unfortunately. It's just so gorgeous. I'll see if my aunt wants that because even though it's missing a rhinestone here and there, it's still really nice. All right, we have an earring. See if it's marked. It's not marked. It's really pretty. But there. Ooh, put that there. Okay, this is a bedazzled peach. I love this. This is hilarious. Um, it is a thicker gold tone. Um, is that the wheat chain? I can't remember. But this is hilarious. <laughs> I actually love that. Um, bedazzled peach. This is a really pretty rhinestone earring. And we have the match to that um, really pretty snowflake. Okay, we have a J. Crew, and it's a, an adorable little elephant. How adorable is that little um, enameled elephant? So it's like a dark gray on a gold tone chain, and that is a J. Crew piece. Definitely one of my favorite pieces we got so far. This looks like another Charming Charlie. It's not marked though. This one's actually pretty cool. So it's like a gold statement with faux pearls and rhinestones. That one's actually a pretty cool one. I like that. Uh, maybe that one. That one's pretty cool. Um, we have a watch. The watch is marked Kenneth Cole. So we have a vintage Kenneth Cole watch. I don't really list the watches. At least I haven't listed any watches yet. But I know I need to. This is not marked anything. It's actually really nice. It's like a plum purple, eggplant purple color. There's no branding, no nothing. So I'm not sure what to do with that. I know Lindsay over at Lindsay Clark has been listing those watches. This is an unbranded cuff bracelet. So that's kind of cool. Okay, we have another one of these snap bracelets. Yep. And look, we have another snap ring. This one is unadjustable. So yay. Put that to the side. All right, so we have a little paw print. How adorable are those? It's missing a rhinestone though, so it's craft. Um, we have these. I'll probably give these to my aunt if she wants them. The little seashell cutout earrings, if you don't know. I live in Virginia Beach, so... You know, we're very beachy down here. <laughs> so, oh, these are pretty. Okay. So we have the match to this earring. All right. And then we have these gorgeous. These remind me of bridal earrings. Um, oh, and they're marked. They are marked. I just can't see what that marking is inside the hook. So I'll have to take a look at that um, with the loop afterwards. But absolutely gorgeous stunning earrings those there so I don't remember so I remember to pull the ones them um we have a hoop earring always check your hoops I have gotten um 18 karat gold 
diamond hoop earrings before, which I still have yet to, I know I'm horrible. I still have yet to go and get checked out. And that was like a year ago. Um, it's an earring. This is a flex watch. Um, these were pretty popular. I'm not sure if they still are or not. I think they had it where each like band represent a different like charity or something like that. And, um, the, the funds proceeds went to the charity. I'm not sure what the red one goes to. And I could be thinking of the wrong brand, but I'm pretty sure that's what the brand is. Let's look into that. I know they're not very expensive, so nothing crazy there. This is an unmarked enamel necklace. It has quite a bit of wear, so it's going to go to craft. And then we have the single earrings. We have this big chainy, what, is, what do you call that? Like a seed bead rope necklace. That is nothing. We have the matching. This earring. Okay, we have a little stud. This marked 925. I do not believe we got the match to it though, unfortunately. No, we did not. We got a little silver ear back. Okay. And then our last piece. Oh, we have two last pieces. Are more of these possibly sterling. We'll find out in just a second. Little necklaces. And this one is turquoise, coral, and lapis. And we're going to test those. So this is what we have to test. Those two necklaces. Little pen. We have a third of those. This one's a little bit different. These ones are basically the same thing. This one's a little bit different. So we have four necklaces, a bracelet, a brooch. Um, let me cut. Another necklace, a pair of earrings, a ring, and then that earring that or the necklace is marked. And that. Okay. That is, let's get my testing acid. No gold to test, so just sterling. And if you don't know, I use 18 karat gold testing acid to test. Um, for me, it just works a lot easier than the actual silver acid. Let me know what you guys use to test. Okay, so now we're going to test. Let's see what is silver. The whole, they don't feel like they're going to come out very easy. There we go. Need to get a new tube of the silver acid. I feel like it just does not come out very easily. Sometimes I have to like push it out. Okay. Everything. Okay, so this is not. Let me double check. This is not silver, silver plated. This is not silver, so it's probably silver plated. Everything else tested for silver. So all of these necklaces, the African trading. So this, these four necklaces, the ring, the earrings, the silver, the little dainty silver necklace and the love necklace all tested for sterling. So yay, okay, so this box was pretty good. Um, we got two J. Crew necklaces. Let me pull out my favorites. The two J. Crews. Where is that adorable elephant? Okay, so here we go. So favorite pieces. J. Crew one. J. Crew two. Um <laughs> this bedazzled peach. Um, we got three. So one, two three and then we have four the african trading bracelet the little 925 earrings the little is it the justice is it the justice pendant or no is that a is that a zodiac sign i don't know the love and then the ring so we got a decent amount of silver so i'm pretty excited about it um you know definitely not my best box i've gotten oh and these really pretty rhinestone earrings that I have to figure out what the maker's mark is on those. So those were just gorgeous. Um, so, you know, not my best box I've ever gotten, but definitely an okay one. 
I definitely will say we will get our money back out of this. Um, you know, the J. Cruz, the Sterling Silver, which I'll probably keep. <laughs> I will probably sell the African trading bracelets and I actually I may maybe I'll put it in a, a what um a YouTube auction we'll see um but I know they're worth quite a bit of money and that means solid sterling I would assume this one would go for a nice little bit but um please give this video a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it it really helps out my channel please comment what your favorite piece is um I've had to pick one piece I think it might be the African trading bracelet, African trading bead bracelet. Um, and if it's not, please let me know. Please educate me. But I believe that's what it is. It's the little handmade beads. Um, and I really, really like the peach and the, so these are my three favorites, I think. Three favorite pieces. Not probably what you would expect from me. Usually you'd probably say the turquoise, but no, oh, I'm really fooling the elephant. But um, that's it, guys. Oh, and please, please, please come hang out with me tomorrow, Sunday, September 3rd at 12 Eastern. And again, we'll be doing some jewelry auctions. I'm going to do a giveaway. I have to figure out how to do a giveaway on there. I think I just, I'll have to figure it out. Guys, it's going to be a learning curve. Um, Please give this video a thumbs up. Please comment. Please subscribe. And I will see you guys on Sunday um, at my jewelry auction. Bye, guys.